It's been two and a half years now since the release of the Gili Okavango. And before that, Filipinos had very little choices when it comes to a family seven-seater car. And now that it's a 2023, a lot of manufacturers have released updates on their offers as well. So it begs the question, is the Gili Okavango still a good choice in 2023? Hey guys, it's Paul again, and we're here in Fairview, Kansas City. We're checking out this Gili Covango Urban Plus, and why I think this is still a solid choice for a seven-seater family car. Let's do this. Reason number one the looks. Now I know beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but you gotta admit, the Gilio Covango's generous proportions, its sedate design, with its cosmic recall grille, a multitude of lights, its DRL, fog lamps in front, and then on the side you have the boxy interior, you have 18 inch alloy wheels with both disc brakes front and back, and finally, on the back, you get the flat, minimal design. Because you know what? Not everybody wants to be fancy. Overall, it's still quite the looker. How about you? What do you think? Leave a comment down below what you think of the looks of the Gili Okavango Urban Plus. And by the way, thanks so much to Gili Fairview for making this review possible. No, no, it's not a plug. This is not a, this is not a sponsored thing. They're just cool. Okay? Okay? Don't worry about it. It's cool. Now we move on to reason number two, which is of course the interior. Sitting inside the Giulio Covango, you get plush premium leather seats. While it's not as luxurious as the Cherry Tigo or the Giulio Ascara, I personally prefer it because it looks durable and can take a beating. Buttons all over the car feel premium. You get two USB ports in front and another two USB ports at the back. But definitely my favorite would be the panoramic sunroof, which is exclusive for the Urban Plus. I know a lot of people worry about it being too hot, but I can assure you that the tree zone climate control does a very good job of keeping the car cool. Reason number three, a functional and versatile seating with a spacious cabin. If it's versatility that you're looking for, then the Gilo Covango has you covered. With a maximum of over 2,000 liters and up to 19 configurations, no less, there's more than enough for the family, for the businessman, or for the weekend. And then reason number four. The Gilo Covango has a 1.5 liter turbocharged gasoline engine with a mild hybrid system that produces 190 horsepower and 300 newton meters of torque. This is matrix to a seven speed wet dual clutch transmission with three driving modes such as eco, comfort, and sport. You can expect fuel mileage for about 10 kilometers per liter and around 16 and a half kilometers per liter on the highway. Okay, and then reason number five is, of course, the driving experience. The Gilo Covango, with its MPV origins rather than the SUV, has a unibody chassis which gives it a ride that's more akin to comfort rather than sporty. Then there's the road noise, or the lack of it, inside this seven-seater car. It's very quiet and definitely a plus for passengers. Now that we talked about the good things about the Gilo Covango, I do have a couple of complaints. Number one would be the lack of uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So that's kind of a bummer because it's already 2023 and you know, you would expect that from a, a car of this price. And the second thing would be the recent price increase that they, uh, that they had. Um, right now it's priced at about uh, almost 1.8 million and that's a quite a big, quite a, quite a big increase from the original price of it so that's a that's a lot of money so there you have it guys the Giulio Covago Urban Plus and even at 2023 
I still think this is a very good option for a seven seater family car. How about you? What do you think? Please leave a comment down below. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much for Geely Fairview for making this review possible. And once again, this has been Paul for Yellow Box Cars. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.